Hey guys, in this short video, I wanna to talk to you about the male fertility enhancing effects of Shistanch. Okay, so first and foremost, male infertility is a widespread health problem that affects about 4.2% of men in the world. So that doesn't seem like a lot, but when you consider the fact that we're talking about infertility, the inability to reproduce or procreate, this is a pretty serious issue. And for most men, it's not just about not being able to reproduce, but when we look at the biomarkers of infertility, we're talking about things like low sperm count, sperm motility, morphology, and the general ability to produce high quality healthy sperm, which is dependent upon healthy testicles, a healthy hormonal balance, and specifically the proper functioning of the endocrine system and what is known as the HGA axis, so the hypothalamic gonad axis, which is basically the communication network between your pituitary, hypothalamus, and your testicles. So when this isn't working properly, of course you're gonna run into problems with producing healthy sperm. So even if if you're not interested in reproducing, bearing children, the fact of the matter is fertility health is one of the basic biomarkers of good overall health because it's indicative of a balanced endocrine system, hormonal profile, and proper functioning of the testicles in your overall endocrine glands. So even if you're not interested in reproducing or bearing children, the fact of the matter is if you want to be healthy, one of the basic things you should be interested in is your reproductive health. Now, if we take a look at Shistanch, Shistanch is one of the most widespread herbs used in traditional Chinese medicine for enhancing reproductive health, fertility health, and men and women. And when we take a look at what it's capable of doing, which we'll do in a second, taking a look at this study here, we're talking about an herb that has the ability to basically balance the endocrine system and the hormones in a way in which you're healthy enough to produce healthy sperm. So one of the interesting things that this study talks about is the estrogenic effects of things like BP. PA, which is the dominant estrogen mimicking plastic that is used in industrial commercial plastics. So this is the primary chemical you find in most consumer products that contain plastics. So everything from bottles that milk, juice, and pop or soda come in, food containers, uh, the various Ziploc bags, and even Tupperware, not to mention our clothes, receipts. BPA in plastic is not just in plastic products, but it's leached into all sorts of other consumer products so it's something that most people in the modern world or the Western world are exposed to all of the time and as this study points out and many other studies it does have an estrogen mimicking effect the ability to act like estrogen in the body and as I talk about frequently in these videos when there's an imbalance or a dominance of estrogen to things like testosterone or progesterone a condition referred to as estrogen dominance you run into all sorts of reproductive and fertility health problems so what's really interesting about this study is not only does it confirm the estrogenic effects of BPA and how that can interfere with sperm health and sperm quality, but it takes a look at one of the active compounds in Shastanch, referred to as echinacaside, which is present in not just Shastanch, but also echinacea, and its protective effects against the estrogenic and stressful effects of BPA. So in this study, basically, if you read through it in its entirety, you find out that they basically do a mice model where they take mice and expose them to the estrogenic BPA to induce sperm damage and infertility. And it's effective at doing so. But what they do at the same time is they take another group of mice who have been exposed to BPA and they supplement them with the active compound in Shastanch or an extract of Shastanch to act as a protective substance to the toxic and estrogenic BPA. And the conclusion of the study was that the ECH or the echinacea side in the Shastanch actually blacks androgen receptor activity in the hypothalamus to increase the quality and quantity of sperm while protecting against the estrogenic effects or toxic effects of the BPA. So as I've mentioned in many videos in the past, cholesterol is a basic building block for all of the hormones, particularly the androgens like testosterone. So in this pathway, there's a protein called the stereogenic acute regulatory
secondary protein that actually transports cholesterol into the mitochondria to become synthesized into testosterone. And basically, Shastanj helps to promote this hormonal pathway and the conversion of cholesterol into testosterone. And something else that I've mentioned many times in these videos is that testosterone is not just an androgen sex steroid for reproductive and fertility functions in the body, but it has an anti-stress effect. So largely through improving the feedback loop, the positive feedback loop between the hypothalamic pituitary gonad axis and the proper production of testosterone, Shastanch is gonna actually have a protective effect to the estrogenic effects of the BPA. So really, testosterone is a protective substance, and so long as your body's producing enough testosterone, it's gonna be incredibly more resilient to all sorts of stressors. And as we mentioned many times in this video, estrogen is a stress substance, and it can have a stressful effect in the body, and in particularly regarding uh, fertility health and sexual reproductive health, estrogen, when dominant, can lead to infertility, not by just decreasing the production and opposing the function of the sex steroids like testosterone, but by also inducing a stress response. So in conclusion, Shastanch does have a pro-fertility effect, primarily by increasing the production of testosterone, by having, again, a positive effect or modulatory effect on the HPG axis, the hypothalamic pituitary gonad axis, so it helps your body produce more testosterone. And remember, testosterone, healthy levels of testosterone is essential for the production of high quality and high quantity of sperm. So usually low sperm quality, low sperm count means low testosterone, which means that your body is hormonally imbalanced and likely more susceptible to stress. So if you're somebody, again, interested in either optimizing your testosterone levels, if you are trying to increase your fertility health, your sperm quality, your sperm count, or if you're also trying to mitigate some of the damaging effects of the estrogenic substances or the environmental estrogens and toxins in the modern environment, something like a Shastanj extract is not just traditionally proven, but now we have some modern research to support those claims. So again, for the male followers that are interested in all of these aspects of men's health, men fertility, increasing testosterone, sperm health, I would highly recommend looking into supplementing with Shastanj, or at the very least, reading up more on this research study that I'm sharing in this video and learning more for yourself. However, that's all I wanted to share in this short video, so if you found it helpful and enjoyable, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't yet already. And of course, if you're interested in learning more beyond this YouTube channel and this video, remember we do have links to all the studies we share, as well as links to our online wellness academy, our online tonic herb shop, and our blog, where you can also find a Shasans extract in the description box below.